Hey, future podcast stars, ready to chat and earn some cash? Yep, we're going to talk about kicking off your very own podcast and how to fill up that piggy bank while you're at it. The question is how to start this business. All right, folks, let's get down to the nitty gritty of birthing your podcast baby. Step one, find your why. To pick the best topic for your podcast, think about what you really enjoy. Say you love everything about cooking. That's where you start. Next, you want to see if other people are into cooking too. A quick way to do this is by looking up cooking on Google Trends. This shows you if lots of people are searching for it. Then hop over to Quora, type in cooking, and see what kinds of questions pop up. This can give you cool ideas that others haven't talked about much. Also, it's good to know if there are already a bunch of cooking podcasts out there. So take a look at Apple Podcasts or Spotify and listen to a few. Think about how you can make your show different. Mixing what you love, what others want to hear, and adding your own twist is the key to a great podcast topic. Step two, prepare equipment. You need a good mic and a camera, but they don't have to cost a fortune. The Audio-Technica atr 2100 x is a solid mic choice that's not too expensive. For the camera, insiders often start with something simple like a Logitech C920 HD Pro webcam. It's a secret gem that gives you great video without breaking the bank. Our right, step three, create content. Creating podcast content is easier when you keep it simple. Let's say your podcast is about movies. Instead of just talking about new releases, you could tell behind-the-scenes stories of classic films or share easy-to-follow movie trivia. The trick is to chat about one little piece of the bigger picture each episode. For example, take one classic movie and talk about a cool fact, like how they made the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. If your podcast is about gardening, in another episode, you might dig into how to grow the perfect tomato in a city apartment. By focusing on specific, interesting details for different topics, you create bite-sized episodes that are both informative and engaging, making your listeners feel like they're getting insider knowledge each time. Step 5. Publish and promote. When you're ready to share your podcast with the world and possibly make money from it, you can use platforms that are specifically designed for podcasts. But don't forget about YouTube. It's a great place to expand your reach because it has a huge audience that loves to listen to and watch podcasts. For example, Anchor is a popular choice because it's free, and it automatically sends your podcast to many different places where people listen to podcasts, like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Podbean is another platform that's great for podcasters. It has tools to help you promote your podcast and offers a patron program for listener support. But here's something else smart podcasters do. They use YouTube, too. On YouTube, you can make a video version of your podcast. Some podcasters just show their podcast logo while the audio plays, and others record themselves talking. YouTube has a lot of people who might not usually use podcast apps, so putting your podcast there too is a smart move. The key that the best podcasters know is to use these platforms to spread your podcast far and wide. By putting your podcast on several platforms, including YouTube, you make it easy for people to find and listen to your show. And once your podcast is out there, tell everyone about it on social media and any other way you can think of. The more people know about your podcast, the more will listen. And that's how you start building your audience. The key of success is having a great business plan. Creating a business plan for your podcast involves understanding the potential revenue from different platforms and sponsorship deals. Let's break down some hypothetical numbers for a podcast with 1,000 listeners per episode. Sponsorship revenue. Podcast sponsorships. If you're getting 18 RCPM from sponsorships, that means for every 1,000 listens, you earn $18. With four episodes a month, that's 18 Xasser for Xasser $72 per month. Platform-specific revenue. Anchor. Anchor offers podcasters the ability to earn through ads, but they don't publicly disclose average rates. Assuming a similar CPM rate to sponsorships, for 1,000 listens, you could earn another $18 per episode totaling $72 per month. Podbean. Podbean has a patron program, which is more variable as it depends on listener donations. If you have a small, dedicated audience, let's estimate 5% of your listeners donate $5 a month. That's 50 patrons x $5 or $250 per month. YouTube monetizes creators through ad revenue, which is influenced by factors such as ad type, video watch time, viewer demographics, and overall market demand. On average, YouTube channels can receive about $3 to $5 per $1,000 video views after YouTube takes its cut. 
So, for a podcast episode that gets 1,000 views on YouTube, the potential earnings would be approximately $3 to $5 for that episode. Avoiding common mistakes is key to podcasting success. Don't skimp on sound quality. Poor audio can turn listeners away. Be regular with your episodes. If they're all over the place, people won't stick around. And always talk with your listeners. They're the ones who keep your podcast going. Avoid these slip-ups to keep your podcast on track. Here's a little secret tip. Smart podcasters help each other out. They find a friend who makes similar podcasts and they give each other shout-outs. But they get creative with it, like making episodes together or interviewing each other. This makes something really cool for the listeners. Think about using your best podcast bits in other ways, too. That funny joke from your show? Turn it into a picture or post for social media. Or take a really good talk from your podcast and write it up as a short story or article. It's like using the same ingredients to cook up different dishes. Just so you know, these ideas are special tricks used by the best podcasters. Try them out, and you could see your podcast really start to take off. Now for the head scratcher. If you had to pick one topic to podcast about for the next decade, unable to switch or pivot, what would it be and why? Drop those brain busters in the comments. Before you zoom off to build your podcast kingdom, don't forget to whack that like button like a pinata, ring the subscribe bell like you're calling for dinner, and dive into the comments section like it's a pool of those little plastic balls. Let's light up the online world with your tales. Just remember, in the land of podcasts, your voice isn't just something people hear. It tickles their funny bone. Now go out there, stir up a racket, and rake in the bread.